Are you tired spending hours trying to retouch an image or maybe a couple of images? I have good news. Here are 5 tips to enable you retouch faster and save you a lot of time and deliver your image to your clients before the deadline. The number one tip I'm going to share with you guys is to create actions. So let's say you are retouching an image, you want to use focus separation, instead of duplicating your layer, going to Gaussian blur, going to apply image, all you have to do is create an action. So I will have an action for that. So just come to your action and I'm going to click on this focusing separation action system bit. I'm just going to load that action for me. So instead of creating a new layer, naming it low frequency, creating a new empty layer, create another one, naming high frequency, and just creating everything inside here, it's going to take a lot of time. So instead, just make an action for it so that you can just play the action and just retouch the image. And also, not just focus separation, I also have actions for dodge and burn. So once I play this dodge and burn action, you can see we have our curves right here. And not just that, I have actions for eyes at it as well. I have actions for noise. So instead of doing all those things from scratch, I can just play that action and just use them instantly. And also, I'm giving out my actions for free. So if you want to get those actions, check the link description below. I'm going to leave a link where you can download my actions for free. And also, if you want to learn how to create your own personal action from scratch, I have a video for that. Just go to my profile and just check how to create actions and you're going to see that video. The number two tip I'm going to share with you guys is to create a color grading preset. Like the Photoshop color lookup table, like the Lightroom preset, like the camera preset or the capture one styles. Creating this color grading preset actually help you retouch faster. So instead of trying to color grade your image from scratch, you already have a preset which you can just apply to your image in just one step. Let me quickly show you that. So let's say I want to color grade this image and I have a preset for it. What I'm going to do, I'll just come to my adjustment layer, click on this color lookup table right here. Once I click on it, I'm going to come to load 3D lot and just click on load 3D lot. And I'm just going to look for where my lot is. So I think I have a couple of lots right here, which I bought. So I'm just going to apply this one right here. I'm going to click on load lots. And it's just going to load that color grading. You can see the before and after, but I'm not going to be using this slot for this particular image, but you get the idea. So just look for lots that fit your color grading and just apply it like that. So this is before. And after now let's say you don't have um photoshop lots and you want to use your camera raw all you have to do is just create a stamp visible layer by clicking on ctrl shift alternate e and just come to your filter right here come to camera raw filter and this image is just going to open inside of camera raw so i have a lot for this particular image which i created so i just go to my preset right here right here i'm just going to click on it so you can see the before and the after the before and the after apply that lot to this image and i click on okay and you can see i've applied that preset to this image so let's i want to apply the color grading i did for this image into this image right here all i have to do since i already create a stamp visible layer all i have to do is come to my filter come to my camera raw. so instead of coming down to calibration and just increase calibration come down to my basics and just do the um color grading from scratch all i have to do is just come to my preset right here click on this user preset and click on it i just going to apply and this is the after and just click on OK like that. So by creating color grading presets, instead of just starting from scratch and doing it for the whole of the image, you can just create a preset and just apply it on similar image or apply it to any image the preset works for. So let's say you are editing more than one image that are similar, you can just create a preset for them and just apply it into those individual presets instead of starting from scratch. So that's another easy way to make retouching look faster and also make retouching look easy. If you want to learn how to create color lookup table inside of Photoshop, just go to my page and watch a video. I have a video for that. The third tip I'm going to share with you on how to make retouching look easy is the copy and paste method. So let's say you are retouching similar image, like this image is right here, this one, this one, this one right here. They are similar images and you want to color grade this image or copy similar settings you use. So let's say I added contrast to this first image right here. I'm going to come to my adjustment layer and just maybe add a um, little bit of saturation like this. Just take the saturation up and also I added contrast to the image like this. And also I added maybe um, color balance. I just added a little bit of blue science to the image like this. Okay, so let me just group them so you can see the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. So let's say I want to do the same thing I did for this other image right here. So instead of coming to this adjustment layer and just starting from scratch again, 
what you can do is to just copy this group by pressing up Ctrl C, copy it, and come to this other image right here. Just press on Ctrl V to paste that sentence for this image, and also do the same thing for this one right here. Press on Ctrl V to paste it, so you can see we have similar um settings for the whole image. So instead of starting from scratch, you can just come to a similar image and just paste it like that. So matter of fact, I use this copy and paste method for a lot of my image because I have a lot of similar images to retouch my retouching clients. So I use this copy and paste method a lot and it makes retouching really easy and really, really faster. Now moving on to tip number four. If you find this video helpful, useful or informative, make sure to hit the like button. Thank you. Okay, back to tip number four. It's using Photoshop plugin or Photoshop AI plugin. So what I mean is that I have a couple of plugins which I used to retouch my image. For example, the retouch for me right here. So this is the retouch for me plugin right here. This retouch for me plugin, once I click on it, it helps me do a little bit of micro dodge and bone. It moves the blemishes of the image and also do a bit of contour dodge and bone just to make the image look smooth. So this was the before and after. So this retouch for me just helped me remove the blemishes for this image. So this is before and after. And all I have to do is just click on this retouch for me right here and just wait for it to load and it's just going to do that for me. And not just that, I have the retouching panel for me, which I used to retouch my image. So you have the focus separation right here. We have the dodge and burn. We have the magic skin tone, which I used to color grade my image. We have the glowing skin tone right here. We just make retouching faster and really, really easy less stress to use and not just that i have the portrait right here so if i just got my filter come to my image unique i'm going to see portrait right here it's just going to make the image look a little bit smoother like that i'm going to cancel it right now because i don't want to use it so that's one advantage of having photoshop plugin it just makes retouching look easy to use like less stress tip number five which is my most important and final tip is having a fast laptop and also using a graphics tab to retouch your image so if you have a fast laptop and a graphics tab retouching image can be really really easy let me tell you a quick story i was using an older laptop before if i'm using that laptop to retouch an image my photoshop just freeze and i have to close photoshop and just lose those editing and i have to start from scratch again it's really 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 frustrating and also when i was using mouse to retouch an image when doing frequency separation i have to click and drag click and drag it's not really making the image look smooth it was really hard work for me until i uh, got a graphics tab at first before i then upgraded my laptop and right now i can open as many images i want in my laptop and it's going to work for me and i recommend you get a wacom tab because it works without the pen works without the battery I advise you get a good laptop. It doesn't matter if you're using a Windows laptop or a Mac or a desktop. Just make sure it's really, really good. And also get a good graphics tab. I'm using the Wacom graphics tab. And the reason why I like this uh, graphics tab is that it has a Bluetooth version and it has a wired version. And also the pen doesn't need battery to function. All you have to do is just plug it and connect it to your Bluetooth and it starts working. And have a dedicated video on how you can connect and use this Wacom tab. If you want to watch that video, click on this video right here. I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay creative.